Alright, so reference to the last episode, I'm Harry, I'm the fuck with the buys bad cards for Bandit. <laughs> uh, so November 2014, I bought full, full Necros Core plus an Exeter Knight, and then Necros got hit basically into unplayability, and Exeter got banned. And welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight we are joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face ah! and Ben from Nolan TCG. I'm impressed that he managed to turn with his ankle. No, no, no. I'm all up a body. All up a body. All up a body. <laughs> all up a body. Yes. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's start with you, Ben. My week was... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fuck Logan. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bleep that, though. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, B. <laughs> uh, Blake. Oh, uh, well. I decided to play well. a good deck. Uh, and I haven't played Sword Soul in TCG, so I was like, Fuck Sword it. Soul? I was like, fuck it. I haven't played it in the TCG. Like, IRL gamers. Okay. So I was like, oh, I'll just... Because I was running into some brick walls uh, with, you know, the birds. Uh, so I switched over uh, for what was... 12 hours uh, maybe 13 hours uh, and then I got a message saying Advent was coming oh, Advent was out so uh, fuck Sword Soul I'm going back to Birds <laughs> uh, it's, here we are um, but that was a fun stint uh, the combos are brain dead uh, oh fucking linear as shit yeah that was it's not hard um, it's good and very consistent but god is it not hard uh, I was trying to I was going to try and like add some spicy and then I remembered I don't like thinking about deck lists so I stopped um, yet to try the wind up thing I really want to do that and uh, actually put that together but Advent is out so I'm gonna make full power birds I guess you know full power birds um, yeah. full power birds okay uh, my week um, I played a little bit of Master Duel uh, just sort of just yo-yoing in the lower parts of Diamond at the moment I don't know what's going on she just broke into your house how did she break yeah. into my house how the fuck do you get back in? How do you get back in the house? I uh, have keys. Oh, okay. Oh, you broke in. <laughs> I thought she's been in the bathroom this whole time. <laughs> I was like, damn, Bree's taking a huge dump. <laughs> 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 oh, that's why you brought up you were yeah. worried about the. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Did you get me uh, chips? No. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, guys? This is an outrageous podcast. <laughs> this is outrageous. Um, We're not. I'm no longer being sponsored by Maccas. Fuck you. Um, yeah. So been yo yoing Master da, da, Duel, da. just sort of doing the thing. Um, <laughs> Isn't it annoying when people interrupt your week in Yu Gi Oh, Jake? A little bit, but I was <laughs> interrupting it because you were cheating. Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't cheating. Logan was cheating. Um, and then real life, I think I only played the one game this week. I mean, you really yeah, tried to. Play. I only played tonight. Yeah, I gave it my fucking best. Uh, so Saturday, not enough people were in. Uh, it was like two other people uh we played some fun games well they were fun for me they weren't so much fun for the people i was versus yu -Oh! is in fact fun for the people that get to play the game yes well they got to play it it's just yeah it's, not not well it was it's a back and forth thing they did a thing i blew it up <laughs> and then rinse and repeat yeah um and then yeah tonight um yeah tonight was miserable i lost everything i don't know i, <laughs> I need to i need to change the deck it's not, you even it's lost to the pie <laughs> Well, I didn't lose to the buy. I was meant to have a match against someone, which I could have potentially lost, but they left. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Jake still looked like he took the L. Yeah, fair. He had to like play Yu Gi Oh the next round after, so it wasn't L. That's you know. It's fine. Thanks, Sam. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we move on and we start with. There's Big quite a week. lot of news tonight, uh, but week. we start with. Advent is out. Let's go, You're gamers. Jumping the We're gun. Here. We're not up to <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. So first. Uh, as a cross promotion with uh, Pro promotion or promotion promotion. Okay, thank you. Promotion <laughs> with McDonald's. We get um, a, we make uh, McDonald's master uh, duel links. Dual links. What about as McDonald's dual links have promotion? just. How about you shut up? How are we more crackheads when we've had more sleep? Because this is filmed a bit earlier than normal, and we're really off the rails. Got me honest. We could have filmed this like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, as a cross promotion with Master Duel having just released, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Duel Links having just released Link Monsters, uh, they are uh, adding some stuff into Master Duel to promote this. Uh, starting with a salad structure deck that is awful. Um, it doesn't have um, Mirage Dalio in it. it. Has a five card extra deck. Well, yeah, it's a structure deck. You have to buy multiple of them, just like you would in real life. 
You have to spend fifteen hundred to get a working salad deck, as per the structure. Oh, I've got the mat. The anybody who plays salad deck is too cheap. Like a have. competent extra deck. It might have. It's dragon made. They only have two of their own extra deck monsters. No, but I swear it also come with eight seals. It probably did. Again, it's dragon made. Nobody that plays salad has enough money to have that many gems. It's so. true. They probably don't need them either. Brokies. Um, no, no, no. They already had salad. But if they don't want to spend their money on a salad deck, uh, they can buy the new Salamon Great Gazelle Mate. Ugh. That actually looks kind of good in 3 I hate seeing it on the board, but I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, we can acknowledge the nice art. I just don't want to fucking see it when I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Uh, now, we have our... F- uh, first uh, new product uh, in we had pre- uh, premium mates before we now have premium sleeves I don't know if this is the one or the one further down uh, but yeah they uh, have like sort of glimmering animation type things on the sleeve I am a huge whore for this I'm gonna be real <laughs> I, I, ha- I hate Konami I fucking hate you but also those things sparkly beep 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 yay <laughs> nah that's me bro when can I have 3D sleeves IRL that move and animate yeah. mm. animation sleeves are no you know the 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 um stuff that they used to put in kids like party tables where you could like move it around <laughs> that marking sleeves like immediately yeah just like eh. hand trap <laughs> <laughs> garnet <laughs> you throw me throw me a nug don't injure your other foot dear god don't injure your other foot that was awful go again <laughs> oh now it's carpeted no I don't care now it's a carpet uh-uh. nugget uh uh-uh. uh Hug it. <laughs> now it's a wall nugget. You gotta clean my walls. Alright. Right. Anyway. Um, I know what's been on the carpet of this apartment. That's disgusting. We also have... <laughs> the, a wall. the water enchantress of the temple icon. Uh, so now you can Didn't have they just get little rid of that anime, anime women. <laughs> it's a one now, isn't it? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Um, now. So much of the amount of years some of the people bigger that news. should be in jail. The bigger news of the week. Uh, the new pack has been updated. Uh, it's called uh, Cosmic Ocean. No, it's called Advents in it, bitches. That's <laughs> yeah. what it's called. So it's got the Marincess support. It's Nobody got cares. the new uh, like CXYZ blah 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 blah. But yes, it does have the uh, Advent something something. I don't uh, actually know what uh, that's f- called. Uh, ad- <coughs> <laughs> 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 oh, <God>. <laughs> Advent <laughs> of Adventure. Yes. Thank you. That card. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, and yeah, I bunch told of him other... I knew what was on the floor of this apartment. Yeah. <laughs> That's where he got him. Straight acid. Uh, and as a further promotion of uh, Duel Links having just got links, McDonald's. they have added a new uh, sort of specialty Duel uh, segment. It's not a festival like they usually are. Uh, this one's just called Special Duel uh, R- Link Regulations. So it's a new ban list with pretty much you can only play Link Monsters. Um, but it functions the same as like normal ranks. So like, um, you go up in rank rather than earning the medals to earn the thing. Um, and you start, yeah, based on your rank in the normal season already. So if you're already at like gold or, um, platinum or diamond, Mm. you're starting at that level as well. It's, I have an idea on how to make this better. Well, I was going to say, it's it's incredible how fucking low effort this is. Okay. It's super impressive. So, so, so. A ranked event. Yeah. Where... When you're at, like, bottom rank, you have access to the entire card pool. Ooh. The higher rank you get, the more restrictive the card pool becomes. Ooh. But how does that entice people to then spend gems to buy more if they're restricted? No, so, like, it play? pushes you towards playing the rogue decks where the people that play those decks that go, If you didn't have Ash Blossom, I would have won! Yeah. So, and you, then, like, it takes yeah. a slowly cuts away at and the then card pool until gems to, like... when you're at the top of Platinum or the top of Diamond, whatever the top one is. Yeah. You're restricted to like just playing like fucking Silver submarine fight. roid. <laughs> but again, how does that entice people to spend more gems? It's... Because they have to make because the they cards. have to buy the submarine roid. <laughs> Unless they just make really shit cards for this thing, ultra yeah, rare. Like, there's no point. It's like no, all but, normals by the uh, end. Yeah, and then you're spending it's fun. You're spending gems. Anyway. You have a specific pack for it. Like you have That's like, a diamond creative rank and pack way too high effort, Ben. How uh, dare you? You do go. How dare you? I like my event. Well, I want Anyways, to there's too much news for us to be fucking around. Yeah, there really is. And uh, they've added sucks. a bunch of like uh, little tag things, uh, link something, they, link they, something, they, blah blah blah. No oh, one links actually leaves. read those tags. The link sleeves actually those, look those really nice in real life. In real life, How? they do. That's nice. But now you can less, get them in Muscle. Less, less. <laughs> um, and a link summoning uh, little 
thing. Cool. Um, Aesthetics. Yeah. Bands, bands, bands. Um, bands, yeah. bands, bands. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, limited. Robina. <laughs> Rubina. <laughs> what? <laughs> limited for the event. Oh. Oh, what? They limited Picari adding Mister for the event. That's rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've limited a bunch of other like non-fun cards. <laughs> Terraforming um, is banned. Terraforming is banned. Uh, and a bunch of like all the barrier statues are banned. It is okay. Uh, Christy is banned. It is okay. Protoss is banned. Scythe is banned. Um, yeah, but that should be a fun way, if nothing else, to earn some free gems. Um, yeah. But moving on to the physical car game, and there is quite a lot of news. Uh, we start with OTS 20 has been fully leaked. Uh, we know uh, everything in oh, there now. I think I've only seen one of these. What's the shortcut for copy? Control C. What's the shortcut for paste? Control P. Same, B, uh, same B. fucking response I had for the last OTS pack. Yeah. This OTS pack is shit. Okay, I've okay. seen it. There's an effect monster. Um, shit, which one did I see? I might not know any of these. Well, how about I read them? Yeah. Okay, no. okay. If I was to tell you... Yes. Normal summon one star. Yep. But it's a level four. Okay. What is it? It's Alistar. It's not Alistar. That's probably one of the three it's cards close. you could have said and it'd not be right. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, okay. Skulker about Joker. No, not that either. No, no, How no, about no. I just read them? Because this guessing game <laughs> will go forever. Okay, Going so away. we knew about Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries being yes. an Best card ulti. Of the one that I want out of the uh, The second one, and I'm not surprised by it being an ulti at all. No, except it should have been an ulti a year ago. Yep, but it's not. Uh, Sky Strike Ice Ray. Oh, yes. This I saw. Because yes. we have upcoming Whammon pack. Uh, yes, and you're right. It should have been a year ago. And now this fucking deck can be so expensive. It's it ridiculous. Is. Like, to buy no, like a high rarity deck is The extra deck is already thousands. thousands And then now the main deck's going to be fucked too They saved a little bit of money when Hulk got banned We're going to have to put up with an ulti fucking rose next set Yeah Yeah probably um, And then finally Aluba Hopefully The rose... Despia boy um, This is too late It is a little too late Brandon didn't even have like it's, it's It, it didn't thing. have it's, it, never it didn't have its time in the sun Branded yeah, because everyone just, it's just... so easy to counter that everyone was like, I'm just going to counter this and keep letting my current Well, no, not that specifically. Like, all you need to do is Ash Branded Fusion and the deck was dead. But more so to just the general thing of like, oh, Branded's coming, it's going to be a T1 threat. Never happened. It was in yeah. the tops. Like, it yeah, topped yeah, a heap, yeah, but it never yeah, got yeah. past the top 32. Everyone just hard countered it. In the, in the side deck, uh, Branded is incredibly easy to beat in games 2 and 3. Yes. Yes. It's interesting that this uh, branded and like to another level sprite, but both of these decks just came out of the OCG and didn't do as well as we thought they would. Might be more of a trend that we see. I in don't the future, know, man. But... Uh, if you ask Konami, sprite was the better deck. Yeah. We just said no. Nah. Souls. Moving on to the supers, though, where there are some more interesting cards. Cool. Uh, they are reprinting Neko Main King. Yep. You don't know what that does, do you? Don't care. Uh, it's, you will. When we oh, get, yeah? When we get the Whammon set, it's just a card you could play to counter uh, the deck. During your opponent's turn, when this card is in your position, in your possession is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, it becomes the end phase. <laughs> so, like, when they're milling themselves and they deck you as well, you send the Necker Money King and you just skip their turn. <laughs> their turns. What, if, uh, what level is it? Level 1 Beast. So, you can... so does it... Do the, the card effect sends simultaneously... Yes. But this is so, also a when compulsory, so it doesn't miss timing. No, I'm more getting at the fact that, like, how does the interaction work and how does that matter? Well, because it's when compulsory and it's not saying that the turn ends, it just moves to the end phase. Yeah, but if, if it resolves at chain link one, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, mail, they mail all go, we each mill 20. Yeah. You each mill 20, they trigger enough to just set up their whole board anyway. And then you go to the end board. phase. But like they set up, there's enough. Board. They set up three fusions, but that's not the board that you're aiming for. Sure. Yeah, but like that's still a board. Yeah, that, for a that's a pretty that fucking good sends board. Send them to the end phase. You'd yeah. hope it would send them to the end phase with less shit. Yeah. It just seems Dog shit. like it in. You'll see it later. In reality, can you set it? It looks like pass. a good card. In practice, probably not that good of a no, card. No, it needs to be sent from the deck. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Just this needs to be sent, your, yeah. sent by an opponent's card. So you can Mothman it to the grave. Mm. Mothman your opponent's 
Um, then we have Herald of Orange Light again upcoming nice. uh, for the Shizu Fairies. Uh, you yeah. now have a negate for the Neko Men King. A cute it's, super. It's um. It's yeah, it'll be nice. Annoying to get. So the next yep. card also a cute super. Uh, Nimble Beaver. Okay. Uh, and Camflorite. Mystic Mind card. Not strictly Mystic Mind. More what, what, Draco. No, what deck? Yeah, what deck would you play in that's not going to play floodgates? I mean, yeah, but they're different. <laughs> I was contemplating da, arguing da, with you, but da. it's really hard because no, you're really play. stubborn and play. you become an asshole. Craig's jamming out though. Da, da, I'm, I'm da, glad da, for him. Da, da, da. Uh, Gadget Gamer, don't know what it does. Um, Morphtronic Earthon, Earthon. The FTK's hit, doesn't matter. Wait, did it? What they hit in the FTK? Uh, Fibrax. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> and um, Chaos Dragon. Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. Uh, just like completely Ninja, fucked uh, all the people no, who were selling that card. Yeah, cool. Saizo was like $45. Right. Good, now it's worthless. Uh, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, the card that people were going to play against Brandon, but Brandon never did anything, so never went anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Elephant Statue of Disaster. Cute card. Yeah, you could also send that off, Mothman. <laughs> uh, King of the Swamp, way too late. Yeah. Uh, Naturia Marin, upcoming. Nat- well, actually, the Nat- Naturia is for coming. It's about came out? Or come, come it's coming out. It's coming out, out like next week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo, uh, Blackwing Tornado, the Reverse Wind. Don't know what it does. No, Don't care. Not a good reprint. Uh, Arm Dragon. No. Uh, Blackwing Arm Dragon, I should say. Uh, number twenty-two Zombie Stein. Cute reprint. Abyss Dweller Common. Yeah. Uh, it can't need to happen. Uh, and the band played on is probably one of the yeah, other. Band played oh, on I remember thing. people like and Sacred Tree to play that. Yeah. Sacred Tree actually needed a reprint. Isn't it just a common though? Yes, but it was a common from seven years ago that never got a mega tin reprint so oh it's... they did one of those yeah I see. uh moving on um as much as uh ben wanted the alba's law to end it hasn't uh we have new spriggins cards um that th- th- that deck literally had a has a pedophile in it spriggins yes yeah, spriggins pedo and he's like this <laughs> is he grabbing <laughs> children i once photoshopped that in <laughs> <laughs> dear lord um, Can he grab Josh? Oh, I need to do a Photoshop later on. Uh, so they get a new Xyz. Uh, it's I have called, a great idea for our thumbnail. Uh, Gigantic Champion Sargus. Uh, so it's kind of a mix between the three bits of the offshoot of Thingo. Sprint sucks. Um, well, they did suck. Um, if an Xyz material is detached, target a card in the field, destroy it, or return to the hand. I don't think that's once per turn. Yeah, How do you detach? detached? Uh... If an Xyz material is detached, doesn't say from this, doesn't say just your monsters. No. Nah. Sure. It's kind of cool. No. Uh, they get a quick play as well. That's like. Um, How does can... that card interact with you? With me? Yes. I detach. Uh, no, no, no. Abyss not dweller. your deck. You as a human being. What if you just don't make the Abyss Dweller because you're playing against Krugans and that deck doesn't do anything great? Tell me what they do, Ben, and I'll tell you when you're wrong. They make a big ship. Yeah. How do they get the materials on the ship, Ben? They summon from hand. Yeah, they can. They can, but they don't. Yeah, they just play double summon. <laughs> Why is it every time we just come back to double summon? To the, yeah, this is the same argument Guys, you had before. Flunder got the fucking buy quick double play summon. Than the dodgy okay, you're just like, buy just double play summon. double summon. No, the, no, that double summon never, is not the answer to everything. Then the buy out of double summon. Okay, no. that's what we need. Anyway, a buy out. They got some cool double stuff. It's about the time that they did the something. Um, it lets you summon again. Then we move on to the set that we get in like two weeks, which is uh, Darkwing Blast. Darkwing Blast. We have uh, all the cards known to us at this point. Oh, uh, also, uh, I was right on the Blackwing being the Starlight Rare. Most people can I pick it. I was right. It was in the when it was in the fucking trailer. I was like, that's the Blackwing's the Starlight. And they've it done was. this several <laughs> times now, where an old archetype getting support gets its old card printed oh, in style. Sign of Dragons, yeah, yeah. Shrine of it, shit. it just happens, and that is technically one of them, isn't it? Yes, it is a sign of Dragons. Um, yes. um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, Starlights of the five, we obviously have Blackwing Dragon. We have Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous, which mm. is the new Ecclesia, mm. um, which is Poly off turn, just on board. It's fun. Uh, Mitsu the Insect Ninja, uh, which is a Whammon card. Uh, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle, which is a Whammon which card? is a Whammon card, and Tier Elements Rugalos, That's which cool. is a Whammon which card? is also a Whammon card. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm getting a pattern here, and all yeah. of a sudden mm. I've realised 
maybe we need to be more horny for Blackwing Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You've, you've nailed it. The that- other four are Whammon card. What if the fifth is just a Whammon card? Is Blackwing Dragon a female? We need to be Scalies. Let's... Hang okay. Oh, uh, it's two separate words, isn't it? Oh, god damn. Alright, we're we getting go. a reference... No. Uh, sorry, we're going to VAR. We're just going to check if it's a woman. <laughs> Wait, how do I spell this fucking Don't thing? Try. It is. Oh, it's fucking hyphenated as well. Blackwing Dragon is a woman. There we go. Go to that list of all female Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> damn. Solid. That card pretty sexy. Um... I would comment on its legs, but I don't think it has any. It, is it thick? Those, those <laughs> clips. I like that you're zooming in and you have to question it. <laughs> Are you thick? <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, anyway. It has got 2800 attack though. I think that's the biggest of all of the... Um... So what you're saying is it's top heavy. It's top heavy. Okay. Yeah, it's got like no booty, bro. Damn. Is it 2816? That is a shame. See, if it had 8,008 as its attack points, it'd spell boob. Yeah. It would also be, like, the only thing with 8 at the end of its attack. <laughs> and the highest printed attack card. Is 5k the highest that we have printed? Yes. Thank you. Yes, because most other ones are question mark. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, like, double on summon. Yeah. Uh, the secret rares. Uh, we have the Bestial Lebellion, Blazing yeah. Cartesia, Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle... Uh, two elements for Carlos, yep. uh, Sprite Sprint, World Sea Dragon, Zelantis, uh, Macraca from the Underworld, and. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Twitch fan. <of> the <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gwoglum, Spear of the Goatee. Um, oh, and one other one, and I want to bring this up last uh, Spellbound, which is hey. a TCG exclusive, and it's probably one of the best cards they've printed in a while. It- yes. I'm. You know what I'm shocked at? It doesn't say. Wait, can I? It's anti flounder I don't have the card. It is. There, yeah. Um, I'm shocked it doesn't say uh, your opponent can't respond to this. That would be really busted. It just, uh, so it... for anyone who's not aware, uh, the text is as follows: uh, Quick play spell. All face up monsters your opponent currently controls cannot be tributed or used as materials for a fusion, synchro, XZ, or link monster until the end of this turn. Uh, two really good things about that. Uh, one, obviously, uh, it stops every type of summon, except for... Oh, no, Tribute Ritual, yeah, doesn't stop that. What? Uh, what? It can't be Tribute. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought to myself for a second it stops everything but Ritual, but then I had to think again. Uh, but the other good thing... Imagine being concerned that it didn't stop Ritual. <laughs> ben we have a dry Trump location. player to be concerned about, yeah, but anyway. Yeah. Um, it doesn't Ritual summon. It does sometimes. Um, but, more importantly, it's not once per turn. Oh. Oh. They have been printing a lot of like just good spell cards lately that aren't once per turn. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm really sad this isn't just an offshoot of Spellbinding Circle. It is. No, but look at the art. It's not. It is. Yeah, the artwork's kind of a mess. I need to see like a good copy of it because like at you the moment it just everything. looks like a bunch of like um, it's alien the, women. It's the alien women that are doing the Spellbinding Circle. Um. There are some other TCG exclusives here. None of them really of note. There's a dinosaur a extender one. that's kind of trash. Um, some fiend thing that you can discard. They gave us um, a synchro train. Choo choo train for pendulums. Choo choo train. Uh, oh, and this and traps. The, this the traps really cannon. good as well. Yeah. Um, so you know. it is called destructive Daruma Karma Cannon. Uh, okay. Change as many monsters on the field as possible to face down defense position. Then, if either player controls a face up monster, they may send all. Fa- they must send all face up monsters they control to the graveyard. Anti link card. And so link. flip them face down. If they don't flip face down, they go to bid. It send oh, all linked so, monsters. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and it also affects the player, not the monster. So unaffected linked monsters will still go to the bid. Yeah. Send. Uh, but towers it is a trap, out. so, just, you know. Just flip your editing, Mr. Face Down, Jake. Just do it. <laughs> that's, that's right. I can I can negate that card. That's fine. Um, then we move on to cards that are coming out in Photon Hypernova. Um, there's quite a few good ones. I can't, I thought that good card was not in Photon Hypernova. I thought it was in the next. So. Uh, before we move on to that, do you think mm-hmm. is yes, Spellbound oh, uh, the most expensive secret in the set now? No. no. Uh, it was 40 bucks. I bought them today. Oh, yeah. she! Nikija had them listed for forty bucks. Enter code normal five at checkout. Um, yeah, was they it had the, the tier mis- element. Uh, no, it was 
It was. They had Lebellion as their their highest price. I don't mm, think that that's card is the most expensive card. That's set. not what I would have guessed. It might have just been on pull rate that maybe. Well, it, they haven't got that product yet. That's just. Ah, oh, so they're just throwing just out hype. prices for yeah. reasons. That's okay. how most pre-sellers always do it. That's weird. You'd want to know yeah. what you're pulling more of before you send any prices. Yeah. Yeah. I feel as though Lebellion is like a forty dollars secret at best. Yeah, I I didn't. It's take, I didn't take that for like over, near a hundred. The Tyrolman one's definitely not going to be the expensive one. Either is the Sprite one because they're both one ofs as far as I'm aware. Well, this is why uh, I thought Tyrolman one's a one of Sprint is a two of. I really. That's why I thought it might be Spellbound. I mean, I feel like Spellbound will be the it's more expensive a, one the in the long one. Yeah, in the long term. Yeah. Is Slayer's price still up there? That's still between Ultimate eighty to one hundred bucks, yeah. I think. Okay, mm, I, don't know. I haven't looked. <laughs> yeah, well, once I, once look. I own them, I just don't look. Uh, but yeah, moving on to Photon Hypernova, we have a new hand trap. Oh, uh, oh no, garbage! Hiding sea, so bad. Hiding the sea. <laughs> uh, level seven Earth Insect attack thirteen hundred, defense twenty five. When your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, special summon this card from your hand in face down defense position. And if you do, change it to face up defense position during the end phase. If this card is flipped face up during the end phase, destroy all special summon monsters on the field. Um, I don't think it's that terrible. Fucking awful. It, oh, it forces a negation. Yeah, and I guess if you do it at the end of a combo that you know, no, you they don't, don't have so a you chance. Do it at the start, it flips down face down, so they can't negate it getting to the board. And if they don't have a way to negate it in end phase... I just think if we've got any destruction or send or anything, yeah, they just fine. go... It forces something. It yeah. Force. Ooh. Forceful. Sorry. Um, we have some hot news off the press. Oh! Uh, Bragg has just sent me a link uh, for a new monster that's coming out in uh, Photon Hypernova. Okay. Uh, this is the first time any of us are reading it. Oh, ooh, okay. Uh, so... <laughs> Read it, Jake! Uh, so it is called Grand Guignol. The Finale Dragon, level 8 light spellcaster fusion effect monster. Is this Bernie Dragon that's going to do more damage? Uh, so, attack and defense are both 25. Its materials, Blazing Cartesia, okay. plus a light or dark monster. Okay. Uh, if this card is fusion summoned, send one level 6 or higher light or dark monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. If a monster is specially summoned by an opponent's activated monster effect. So, that was level 6 or higher? Level 6 or higher, yeah. Uh, if a monster is special summoned by bad. your opponent's. The opponent's card effect monster monsters activated card effect uh you can banish this card from your field or graveyard special summon a dogmatica monster from your deck or despia monster from your extra deck no it's not amazing it's a cool super poly target if nothing else yeah i i have this theory you with, need to uh, use like the shit new branded lady yeah she's not shit uh, I, I have this like side theory with especially synchros if they have an effect that removes them from the board and does a thing, it has to be a ridiculously good effect, and it almost never is. Yes. Every new synchro that comes out that's like, banish this card and bounce a card. He's like, bro, I committed two cards to get to this thing just for it to fuck off and do an effect that any archetype can do for free. It's like, get, get in the bin. Um, okay. No, White card's to... bad. Uh, but it's a purple card. That one is, yeah. That's why that I was like, I had hope, but I no longer have hope. Uh, but more importantly, in Photon Hypernova, we have a really good new spell. Discord card. Yes. Uh, triple Tactics Tasking. Ah. Uh, if your opponent has activated Wait, a monster did they effect. Give it, they changed the translation. I don't know. I'm reading the card okay. here. Originally the... Okay. Wasn't it just two T's? Yeah. Now they've changed the name. So the translations come through with Tasking now added on. Yes. Uh, if your opponent has activated a monster effect this turn, set one spell, oh, normal spell or trap directly from your deck, except triple tactic tasking. Um, it cannot be activated this turn. Or, if your opponent controls a monster, you can add that card to your hand instead. Would you like me to tell you the, the combo for this? Mm. Special summon Silent Wobby. Silent Wobby effect activates, changing to your opponent's field. No, so you special summon Silent Wobby, they feel they draw a card. It activates. They draw a card. You activate, you activate this. this card. You add Terraforming. <laughs> you activate Terraforming. You add Mystic Mine. You activate Mystic Mine. I don't want to live. I don't want Silent Wobby to lock me out of the this game. This card going to be good in no. this exact strategy. I don't want Silent Wobby to lock me out of the game. <laughs> 
Hear me out though. You got Wobby Gogged. This is going to be a hundred dollar card for Mystic Mind players. <laughs> they aren't going to buy it. <laughs> they can't afford it. Uh, finally, in upcoming product <laughs> news, we also have uh, some announcements of the Selection 5 pack oh, from the OCG. I wanted to talk to you about this, Jake. Oh, God, here we fucking go. How does it feel to get Invocation 2? Invocation it's does? It's just Invocation with new skin. Invocation 2? Yeah. Unless no. I can play six of them, it's not Invocation 2. No, it's Invocation 2. No. Okay, Jake. Okay. Hear me out. Is hear the me reprint out. of House Dragon made in the new one House Dragon made 2? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. yes. You can't play six of them, therefore it's not a second one. I don't know, I've seen Lis play six copies of Salamander Great Heat Leader. We already have enough. What, what's going on, Jake? Just explain it to me. So, and then in the say... Selection Pack 5 so far, they have released, uh, I think the Dragon Maid's part of that as well. Yeah, a bunch of thick women <laughs> and Invocation awesome. 2. Yes, right. so uh, Live Twins getting an alt art of one of their Shut link up. monsters. Uh, yeah, uh, supporting non three, not good. Uh, but they're also to be fair, no to Konami's credit, they make they try to go out of their way to make it seem like this chick is like of age. Okay, she's like super thick. Yeah, it, it... <laughs> <laughs> hang on, let but me like... let me find the artwork for you. It's it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's laughing. DM me. <laughs> DM me. <laughs> oh. Jesse would like to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Jesse did post in the chat. Was like, can't wait to get this. Shut up. He didn't. Re- he didn't realize it was an alternate art. He right. thought it Jesse, was a Jesse so, is literally the once, target audience. I don't want to show it on the podcast in case we get flagged. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, but it does, the creepy undertones of this is that it's those little girls that transform into them. Oh, great! Yeah, there, yeah. there's your creepy undertones. That one awesome. becomes that one. I don't. I don't want this. Yeah. But um, they're with, VTubers. It's with fine. each of these cards, they've all got um, like the altar, but then they also get a sort of shitty card that also supports the archetype, but it kind of doesn't. Like the Dragon Maid one. The Dragon Maid one was kind of it's not even fucking not Dragon Maid. Really Dragon Maid. Yeah. Um, this one is actually a. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. So this one's not an evil like um, evil twin card either. It's not got evil twin in the name, so um, you have to hard open it. What's the invocation to? Is it just an altar? Um. So we yeah. get the altar of invocation, which actually looks really is it good. red. All twos are altars. Ah, see, I knew. It actually looks um, sick. It looks yeah, really good. That is actually fairly cool. Um. Uh, yeah. They also get a card called Alpha Summon, uh, which like targets two banished card uh, monsters, one of yours, one of your opponents, and you summon them to the opposite board. See, I think. This should have. I was like, there could be ways to make this better. That card should have summoned. So it should have targeted two banished monsters. Summon the first target in face down defense position. Shuffle the second target into the deck. Then flip the target face up. Are you trying to do this so that you can banish Alistair flipping face up in that invocation? Is yes. that your plan? Yeah, look, it could have done almost anything else and it would have been a better card. Bougie Incarnation but... summons one from Graveyard and one from Banish, so it could do that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really Thanks, funny bro. that you just had that knowledge just, like, set there ready. But it's a plus one! <laughs> it puts two on board for free! You can do that. So does Bougie Hushima or whatever it's called. <laughs> the new one? Yeah, the link. That I, I didn't read it. It summons <laughs> one from hand and one from grave with the same level. And, and then, then immediately, immediately seizes them. them. Oh, and then, and then yep. it has a destruction effect as well. When um, mm, I, I think it's one that. Of, yeah, <laughs> I know no one gets that far. Um, it's an extender. So before we move on to our podcast questions, we uh, well, I say we Ben ask for some fan art of uh, oh yes of uh, Rob and Derek from the Konami R and D department. Yes, uh, Rob and I don't Derek know if department. you'd seen it yet, but uh, um, I have. here it is. Yes, uh, it's really if good. Ben remembers to, which I hope he does, he'll have it on screen uh, for you. It'll be on screen. I definitely read this while I was getting lunch today, and I was that weirdo in the line at food, just smiling at my phone. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, yes. That's, uh, it's really good. So thank you very much to IR Cool Guy for submitting that to us. Oh, thank that you. was him? What thank you, IR Cool Guy. Uh, speaking of our Discord, we move on to our <laughs> podcast questions. Um, yes, because that's what we got. Yeah, I thought there show. was more, mo- more news. More news. More moves. I mean, there's a heap of news, but like you don't like me reading cards. So it's yeah, like, yeah reading cards are a vibe. Uh, so yeah, they're good, good cards. Yeah. And at the moment, they're not. Uh, <laughs> we read all the good ones and we then read we talked talent. about some shit ones. Um, uh, so, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, no. uh, first question comes to us from Crobat5. Yeah. Have you ever considered making or playing a deck that is uh, centered around a theme that is not part of an archetype? 
Uh, for example, he wanted to build a businessman's deck with cards like sales ban, prohibition, margin trading, etc., etc. Uh, the short answer is no. <laughs> I remember... Oh, this is actually before Starlight Stream last year. Of <laughs> me and Lachlan were like, let's build the dumb decks that revolve around themes. Except Lachlan then was like, I'm going to build penguins. And I was like, I'm going to build the guy from the greed cards. <laughs> <laughs> so I just made a deck of all of the, guy, the cards of the guy of the greed. I thought you would have gone for the goblins. Well, it was essentially the theme, because it was that dude. Oh, yeah, I suppose he's in most of the artwork. Yeah. Um, the closest I've ever got to that is, like, when you're first starting and you're just like, what are you giggling about? I can't say it. No, I think it please. He's going to say something anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> My cleat had kind of centred around segregation. <laughs> no. You cannot put those cards down. Get off my board. <laughs> Oh, go back to where you came from. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you ever seen any of the floodgates? They all look awful. It's like rivalry of the warlords is just like, no, nah, go back. Anyway, uh, the closest I've ever come to um, that is like when you first start playing and you're just like, I'm going to throw every dragon that I can yeah, find, dragon. Or every spell caster yeah. I can find, or every warrior I can find. But I've never gone out of my way to be like, I want to only play cards that wear bow ties. Like, <laughs> that, <laughs> I once built scrambled egg control. <laughs> yeah, you've told me about this, but again, oh, that's yes, just... Oh, yes, I remember it's that. Just that was just out. a storm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. ends up just being deck out, because when you're attacking with Moon Mirror Shield, it takes more than 40 turns to kill someone. <laughs> so when when you've got, like, there can be only one goes in rivalry, and then a fucking Sonic chick with <laughs> Moon Mirror Shield <laughs> equipped, it's like, it doesn't work. This is clearly in the days before Lightning Storm was the thing. 100 damage. 100 damage. 100 damage. 100 damage. That sounds so <laughs> painful. <laughs> hey, Sonic Chick. Um, scrambled Egg. Best card. Definitely was worth not getting Alka Fibrax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The worth the spot in the, uh, the set. Uh, next question comes to us from... Uh, I don't know if I can read his name out on the podcast. Uh, on what, a, what is it? Which one? <laughs> that one. Blunt all day. That's fine. That's I will okay. say it's Shikamaru. It's, it's, he, he's easy. <laughs> Who? Shikamaru. Do you know who this is? No idea. From Naruto. Oh, it's because of the profile feature. Okay. Was well, you from... actually knew who it was. Boruto? Uh, it's, no, it's Boruto's dad's anime. Oh, yeah. okay. Ah, yes. Very current and funny joke. Thank you. Uh, yeah. His question is, have you ever taken a borderline unplayable deck to locals? He's been testing yep. D-Boy's Nimble Engine Miracle Yo, Spam. D-Boy's, uh, what a king. You and me. Oh. Him and the boys rolling into locals. <laughs> Uh, I mean, without thinking that they were unplayable, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you go strict, didn't you? I go strict. That yeah. had a good matchup against Cosmo at the time because they didn't target. Yep. I, I flip it to ship. Yeah, good. And then what do you do with it? Nothing. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. Just, it nothing. come back. <laughs> <laughs> Stay um, down. <laughs> um, I guess uh, appliances probably fell into that bracket as well. <laughs> what? When did you do that? Clean apply. This is like oh. pre-COVID. Oh. Yeah, this was ages ago. Fuck. There's so much shit that came out like pre-COVID that I feel like happened like a month ago. Mm. Like you're playing appliances. Did it's that happen pre-COVID or was it pre-second lockdown? No, it was pre-COVID. Fuck me. It's because when Jake, nothing maybe happens... maybe you COVID. Time. Yeah, true. With appliances. Excuse me? Maybe, maybe taking appliances to locals just fuck the world. Yeah. Well, if... Okay, so A, that's You wrong. can't prove it, But B... You're buying the Starlight Dragon Maids brought the second lockdown. Yeah, it did. It was a wise Disgusting. investment. Disgusting. It was a wise investment. Did they go up? Yeah. yeah cool. They're, they're Starlights, they always go up. Yeah, mm. uh, I like, bought those like as lockdown started, didn't I? Yeah. Before lockdown started. I think they arrived no, think they as arrived we went into it. as lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. You just wanted an excuse to save money and you're like, well, I can't go out. No one else can. <laughs> no. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Um, uh, what was the last deck that I played at locals that was like utter shit house? Um, I can't oh, remember. I know, uh, I know the one. Oh wait, yeah, I the think one, I know the too. one where you had that one card that always went back on top, and then you decked your both players out. That card oh. was really good. 
Did you ever actually pull off the... Um... Yeah, multiple times. I went X1 at that one. Yeah, yeah. Did you? Okay. It well, worked then, really well. well. If that's not the deck, it's the Hand Trap Invoke deck that you brought. Not that was deck. great. <laughs> that was a terrible that, deck. That deck profile got like a lot of fucking views. Despite the fact that I put no keywords in it at all. I was like, Hand Trap deck profile. <laughs> People just want to be angry about awful. Hand Traps, so there you go. But that's the thing. I was versing you with my Invoke deck and I fucking demolished you. <laughs> yeah, because the deck sucked. Yeah. <laughs> It was like, did I open Alistair? Only, no. Did you open only, anything? Okay. The only invoke deck that I've seen that's worse than that is the uh, equivalent exchange invoke that Bragg brought a, like a month ago, where like every card was a trade off. <laughs> <laughs> what if I play only a deck of cards to go plus one? The deck was bad and you should feel bad! <laughs> next question next question uh, and it's our final question of the evening Come from uh, what appears to be a new listener well, or well, a, well, a, a first time uh, commenter uh, Matthew Mack uh, what would you change in Master Rule 6 okay so hear me out hear me out when you go to locals you start with the whole couple <laughs> <laughs> and as you win round by round yeah. your couple gets worse yeah so, so your when side you... deck is your binder. 10,000. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Um, I w- Oh. These go here. No. These here. Th- these here. <laughs> Put them away. I want these anywhere but here. They it can be can't, here. It cannot happen No, yet. they can be here. They can be here. They can be here. They can be here. I but don't if, care. they go here? Yeah. We haven't got the, we haven't got the arm mic, right? What? You're just banging in front of the table again. Yeah. Oh, they can go here. They can go here. Um, move the pendulum zones anywhere but the spell and trap zone so I can play pendulums and then set five. I will once again harp back to the summoning mechanic that I invented four years ago. Yeah. That never became a thing. Chaos summoning. Okay. Where there is extra monsters that summon by banishing from grave. Fucking power creep the game again. Let's go. Uh, I can see that being a thing. It's like contact fusing, but from it's like they're like grave. a dark synchro. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like where you you you're essentially synchro something from grave. Yeah. Pay life to do it. Yeah, I mean that's less a it's summoning nine. mechanic, more of just a new synchro arc. No, 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 no. They're different colored cards. Yeah. They need to be like corrupted. They can be what I color? They can be. Uh, do you know lost? Do you know the lost zone cards from Pokemon? Yes. They can have like a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you go banish from grave and you can have like a ver- their version of like a tuna, the yeah. a tuna it's a salmon and it goes out from grave summon I yeah. like the fuck you guys mechanic. that was funny this is a great summoning mechanic fuck you and fuck you that was funny no, it wasn't. <laughs> I made that joke once and I got a similar response so you deserve it yes uh, uh, I like I like my idea I like your idea too, actually. My idea is pretty fucking I good. I don't know what else you'd add. You'd basically just have to be changing the board state. Um, yeah. I want to go back to one field spell. Oh, okay. That would, that would solve a lot of problems. It's because he's, uh, he can activate Meltdown over Mystic Miner. <laughs> that would solve yes. a lot of problems, actually. Yeah. Yeah, alright, do that. Have your overpowered field spells. It Move it bite. to the center. Because when my opponent puts yeah, up yeah. path... Yeah, Finally. Oh, Finally, up. he'll be right. He'll be right, <laughs> 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 um, What else could you do? Still waiting for spell and traps with wind zones. The with arrows that point yeah, upwards? That, point up. that was in the anime. They never it brought was, it in. Yeah. I, it's okay. They don't need to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they absolutely. Don't they don't need to. I feel like that's oh. why they never brought out like the <laughs> villains' archetypes in that, because they all used this thing that had this like judgment arrows down here, and then all their arrows were really dumb. Yeah. yeah like, this makes shit. no sense. I think you should be able to link in both zones, and if you can get two links, summons off you lock your opponent. No, if they point across. Yeah, if they have to point across. across. Yeah. yeah, just put a center link zone. Yeah, yeah, put put three, and yeah. then you can use them all. Actually, yes. not fuck it. Put five, make the whole thing a board, <laughs> whip let's play chess. Yes. And you have, like, Senate switch to the of the board. roses? <laughs> yeah. You can tribute summon over. The thing. Yeah. Actually, if you just had, like, these three zones, mm. like, even with these three zones, if you allowed... Uh, v link as yeah. opposed to U link. No, you could you could V-Link, do it. V link is legal. There's just no cards that do it. Wait, wait. What is? I think there is now. No, like the one card that is legal says you can't summon to its link arrows. Oh, that's why oh, they have made all their tools. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. If you are here and there's any links to point up, you can just continue into your opponents. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but then are they no, your opponent's bosses? Now, as, no, 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 no. no. As, as, long as, they face you, as weighing into Seb's thing, once you cross halfway, you can be used for a tribute summon. <laughs> Imagine if they change the rules so that, like, the EMZ is both player zones. So any monster there can be tributed for your tribute summon. Oh, God. So if your opponent's like, M-Pen. Aha, here is my Appaloosa, I'm like... M-Pen. Do you know <laughs> what? I don't actually want them to make, like, a new Master Rule 6. What I want them to do is, like, update the rules uh, for, like, the alternate formats and stuff like that. Like, I want proper tag team rules. I want... We like, got, no, you don't. Remember? We got proper tag team rules. No, you don't. And they no, were they still, don't. like, dodgy as fuck. Yeah, that's what I mean. Make, yeah. make them good. Nah. I remember four player... Yeah, well, a full player yeah. format, and then you're only allowed one of each card. Have, well, they won't okay. do it because wait, 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 it'll wait, wait, cross it. And then you can have a deck wait, master. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. When I'm wait, halfway no, through no, a sentence, no, 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 go fuck no, yourself. No, no. Now that they've got yeah. cross duel, they this should is, be. This is the point where I'm going to. Well, I'm already there! <laughs> Jake, have you played cross duel? No. Have you played cross duel? Yes. Actually? No. Neither have I. This card, this game came out, and we're all like, this will be interesting. None of us have acknowledged its existence. I've acknowledged it. I just haven't. Like been bothered because like the threshold to like do. buy into that game and start playing it, I'm just like, I'm I'm not there. Is there a threshold? I, mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't play, opened the game. To play something good, there is a threshold. There always is. How do we know? <laughs> the other thing that I don't like about it, from what I've seen, is just like the graphics of it. I don't like the way it's presented. It doesn't look good. I just don't think you like force. Excuse me. Name one thing that's four that you've interacted with. Uh, Alistair, level 4. Good work. <laughs> it's pretty good on it. Aluva, level 4. Yep. You know, those things are very close Ecclesia, to name. level 4. Yeah. I like thirdly more, though. The adding this, that's, that's a level 4. Just two fours. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is 4. The laundry card, it's a level 4. I'm just making shit up now. Yeah. Anyway, that will do us for this evening. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as I said, feel free to join our Discord, ask us questions. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you are uh, seeing us on Spotify, uh, it's a wonder. Um, <laughs> Head down to the description and give us your review of Crostal. Yeah, but... yeah, if any of you have legitimately played Crostal, please let us know. I would uh, like to use one of your opinions as my own. <laughs> <laughs> please don't wobby combo me. <laughs> I beg. Yeah, if I get if I get wobby comboed, I'd be very upset. <laughs> you got wobby wobby walked. Yeah, well, wobby comboed for Mystic Mind. Wobby wind. Imagine a two card combo that lets <laughs> you still set combo. three back row and you can be two like two card combo. Here's my two card combo that gets me into Mystic Mind. Yes. <laughs> I have a two card Mystic Mind lock. Do you? No, no. Goodbye. Anyway, good night. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>